yeah on the headline for today which is so very interesting and the uh, position of the country as it is it says president Tinubu set the captives free <laughs> mm -hmm. okay violence was expected last friday july 29 2023 when the shia population in the country marked the ashura festival held a uh, worldwide by the shites Okay, the prediction uh, almost did not come to pass, but for a last-minute duel near the uh, Wusi market, Abuja, when, as usual, armed um, security men engaged the shites uh, and bullets flew. No, it is not as if the shites are bounded to violence, but the security services, including armed um, forces, uh, seem to have locked it in their brains then the shite will always be violent so a counter force uh, will, uh, must be on ground it is like a cat and mouse game and the mouse cannot plead innocence even if the facts on ground support its claim even if the shite uh, processions are peaceful the security services assumed they have a duty to disperse them because the latter would not have taken permission from the police. Yet, the constitution grants every Nigerian the right to peaceful assembly and movement. Some may ask, why do the shite not give peace a chance by not holding street air processions? The answer is uh, simple. It is part of their uh, religious uh, tradition, especially Ashura. Ashura, a day of mourning uh, which commemorates the beheading of human, oh, sorry, beheading of uh, Imam Hussein B. Ali in Karbala in today's Iraq in 680 uh, CE. So long uh, as he shite, or so long as the shite or thereabout have uh, the power. Or the progress or there about um, and do not endanger public peace nor infringe on the constitutional rights of other nigerians uh, they should have the right to practice their religion a primary uh, problem we are faced with today emanates from our cumulative uh, 29 year military rule during which uh, public processions uh, must be licensed by the state otherwise it would be seen as a challenge to the government in power. Maximum force is then used to subdue or subjugate the uh, marchers or protesters. Now, tragically, uh, the shootings uh, during such encounters are indiscriminate and passers by sometimes fall victim. For example, on January 21, 2020, a journalist, Alex Ogbu, of a regent africa times who was covering a shite a procession at the uh, Bagga roundabout in abuja was killed when a police officer shot him in the head it is difficult to give an accurate uh, statistics of how much shite blood has been shed in our streets but senior advocate of nigeria femi falano had on monday on november 5 2018 petitioned the National Human Rights Commission to investigate the extrajudicial killing of 492 members. Yes, 492 members of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria, IMM. The main Shiite group within four years by the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Police Force. In one encounter on December 12, 2015, 348 Shites were killed by the army in Zaria for allegedly blocking, uh, blocking the convoy of the chief of army staff. Two days later, the army shot Shite leader uh, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zazaki and captured him and his wife, Zainat. The couple have remained in detention for eight years now, despite at least four, car, uh, four court orders, including that by the international ECOWAS court setting them free. The shites, of course, are not angels. They commit infractions, but whenever, whenever they do, they should be charged to court rather than government resorting to illegalities and extrajudicial massacres. The two-month-old Tinumbu administration needs to or need not 
inherit the alleged uh, enemies of past uh, the past administrations it should set zazaki and other shite detainees free in accordance with the lawful orders of the courts this will send a clear message to the police security forces and the military that the shites are not the enemies of nigeria in any case if the leaders of saudi arabia and iran uh, who led the two main uh, islamic tendencies the sunni and the shia uh, have closed ranks and signed peace agreements there is no reason why the nigerian state should be seen perpetuating a war against the shites namde Oku Kanu, uh, the 55-year-old uh, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB is another political prisoner. Uh, is a political prisoner that should be set free also. He was Ill illegally abducted in Nairobi, Kenya on June 18th, 2021 and has since been detained by the SSS. He had uh, previously been arrested on October 14th, 2015 and granted bail on april 28 2017. after his home was raided in september 2017 by the military during which 28 ipob members were allegedly killed he fled the country it is true that kano is a separatist leader who advocates for the secession of the eastern region nigeria if necessary by force of arms and he is on course but the fact remains that he is a political prisoner uh, who should be protected. Yes, a political prisoner who should be protected. Oh, <clears throat> in other words, under our laws and international convention, cases such as Kanus uh, are better handled politically, especially when we have millions of Nigerians who, as Igbos, believe rightly or wrongly that they are marginalized and treated as second-class citizens in the land of their birth. Holding on to Kanu indefinitely or jailing him would not resolve our nation question. Rather, it can further uh, complicate matters. I reiterate that the Tinubu administration does not need to inherit the enemies of the Buhari administration also the issue is to address the question of marginalization raised and how to drastically reduce or curb the serious insecurity social and economic crisis uh, this has engendered especially in eastern nigeria uh, we should also learn from how we handle separatists we should also learn on how we handle agitators for example after the country returned to civil rule, the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra Masop, led by Raf Uwazurike, emerged in 1999 when it was repressed. A more uh, interpret breakaway faction, uh, the Biafra Zionist movement. After the BNN uh, attacked the government house Enugu on March 7, 2014, and later the Enugu State Broadcast Service. Uh, it was repressed and Onwuka was imprisoned for three years. Well, the time may not put us to move further as it's been for our spent. Uh, I would like you to share your views in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Independent TV7. Thanks for listening and God bless you.